As part of our ongoing Boomtown series, we are tracking the growth in the Inland Northwest and today new progress on a rail truck transload facility near the Spokane Airport. Crime 2's Nathan Hyun is there right now. He's joining us with details. Hi, Nathan. Hey guys, yeah, I'm here right now at the new facility where the new tracks end and I'm told that trains will hold cargo that will eliminate 400 trucks off of the I-90 freeway. The new tracks were built to make the import of cargo and goods faster and more efficient. Construction on the railway began in September of 2021. It cost $14.3 million and includes three new rail tracks, which covers nearly two miles. The objective here is, is economic development and, and not only for new business recruitment, but to provide cost efficiencies to existing businesses and help them grow and then attract that new business. The CEO of Spokane Airport, Larry Crotter, says this project is just the beginning of a larger plan. We want to continue to make additional investment with our own money, uh, attract additional grant resources from the state and federal uh, resources that we've talked about today, um, and then also look at selling our property uh, as well to companies that would like to come in here and be located near the transload facility. The new rail connects to the Geiger Spur rail line. This line was built in 2018 to attract more aerospace and manufacturing companies. Spokane Mayor Nadine Woodward says that the new rail will make an impact on business and I-90 traffic. I think they'll see the difference in the traffic off of I-90, but the way that we can transport goods and products is, is going to be a game changer for the businesses that locate here and the, and the products that we're able to move uh, in the region. Airport officials say they hope the new railroad will not only lead to more business, but more jobs. So the project manager tells me he's glad the construction has gone on without any interruptions and trains should be fully operational by next spring. Live in Spokane, Nathan Hun, Krem 2 News.